We are going through the best graphics, controller, and audio settings for Modern Warfare 2 Ranked Play. And if this video helps you out, you have to subscribe down below. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. For graphics, you will get the best frames with full screen exclusive, and you might have to click exclusive to change some of these settings down here. Mine is on borderless because it performs okay and helps me go back and forth between my game and OBS. Make sure your adapter is your graphics card and that your resolution matches with your monitor's resolution. The next important setting is custom frame limit. Make sure you have it on 300 and you can lower the menu and out of focus if you'd like as well. Down here for display gamma, we have that at 2.2. Make sure your HDR is turned off. Going into quality, make sure this is on custom. Your render resolution should be at 100. For the upscaling and sharpening, you should have this on fidelity cast with a strength of 100. However, on my build, as I'm trying to stream and record at the same time, it lowers my frames a decent amount. So I actually have it on NVIDIA DLSS with performance at 82. My game's a little bit blurrier, but it helps in terms of my frames. If you guys are having similar troubles with fidelity cast, try DLSS if your PC allows it. Video memory scale, I have this up to 90. Now here are the important settings as well. For texture resolution, that's gonna be on very low. For the texture filter, that's normal. Nearby level of detail, high. Distant level of detail, high. The draw distance is short, particle quality low, particle quality level normal, bullets, impacts, and sprays, I have that off, damage layers off, shader quality low, tessellation off. Another super important one is the on-demand texture streaming. Make sure this is turned off. This has been helping since Vanguard, making sure you don't get too many packet bursts in game. For the rest, streaming quality we have low, volumetric is low, physics quality off, water caustics off, shadow map resolution is very low, screen space shadows are off, Spot shadow quality medium, spot cache low, particle lighting low, ambient inclusion, I have this off as well. The next few settings are off, low, and off. Now getting into the NVIDIA reflex low latency if you have an NVIDIA card and have this option. Compare your CPU and your GPU. If your GPU is more powerful than your CPU, turn it on on plus boost. Now if it's the reverse of your CPU is better than your GPU, just turn this on on. For the rest, depth of field we have off motion blur and weapon motion blur have that off and film grain all the way down to zero i run on 105 controller player should probably stay under 110 to make sure your aim assist doesn't get messed up however if you do play on keyboard and mouse you're fine to bump this up to 120. ads field of view i have on affected weapon field of view is wide i like having my weapon smaller uh, the rest of these don't matter too much but i have it on 90 and wide these next two don't matter too much but i have them on 90 and wide however these last few are pretty important turn your movement for first person camera and third person camera all the way down to least and now for the controller settings, some of these will be pretty subjective. I play claw, so I play on default flipped. The way you change that is just by flipping L1, L2, and R1, R2. A big subjective one is controller vibration. I have this on off. My sensitivity is 6.6. I feel like this is a happy middle ground to where you can be snappy, but it's not too fast that you miss shots downrange. Sensitivity multiplier, I don't touch this one here. Same with the vertical aim axis, just leave that alone. And here are the rest of my gameplay settings here. Nothing too terribly important on this side. However, once we get into advanced, there's some super important settings that y'all need to know in here. Target aim assist I have on, aim assist type. Previously, I've tried Black Ops, but they nerfed it, so default is going to be the best one for now. Definitely make sure that gyro behavior and gravity vector are both turned off. You might have these on because it was added later on in the game, but double check that they're both off. A big one here is the aim response curve type. This one has to be on dynamic. Here's where I changed my custom sensitivity per zoom. What feels best for me is scaling down the low zoom to 0.95. However, when we get to the high zoom, like snipers, I have it on 1.1, so those are a little bit snappy. A huge one for controller players is inputs dead zone. You want to make sure that your right stick min is as low as possible without getting stick drift. As for the remainder of these, they shouldn't be terribly important. The main one is your right stick min. Just make sure that's as low as you can have it without having any drift in game. In terms of my movement, I have changed to single tap run strictly because you don't have to double tap your left stick to go in attack sprint. I don't like going to auto attack sprint, especially in this game when you're punished for running, but single tap run, I've really enjoyed it so far. Try to use that. You want to make sure your airborne mantle is off and your automatic ground mantle is off. If you guys know the head glitch I'm talking about, on hotel this will save you from automatically mantling that one so make sure these are off i have my slide and dive behavior inverted because the dive is much more important than the slide in my opinion so being able to quickly dive is huge and has saved my life plenty of times try flipping these if you haven't already the rest of these shouldn't be terribly important for multiplayer although i will scroll through them anyways and last but not least, we have the audio settings. I'm gonna regret showing you all this, but if you want to do loudness equalization, you find your headphones in your sound settings, hit properties, go to enhancements, and here's where loudness equalization is. You click this 
and then hit on apply. While I like how easy it is to hear footsteps with this, sometimes the directional audio in terms of when the footsteps are close by actually messes me up in game. So I don't have this on currently. I've had a lot of luck with headphone bass boost and keeping the master volume on 100. Here's the rest of my audio settings here. For the remainder of the important ones, make sure your mono audio is turned off. This was initially coded in incorrectly, but off is the proper way to have this one. For the rest of these, I have subtitles on default. The remainder of these are not terribly important. Oh, reduce tinnitus sound. Have this on. That way, when you do get flash banged or stunned, it's not crazy loud in your ear. And that's going to do it for the best model for two settings for ranked play. Like I said earlier, sub if this helped. I will see you on ranked play and catch you next time at lunchtime.